And we are here because the lady, the women's Iowa Hawkeyes team is on a national championship hunt. They have Holy Cross tomorrow at 3 p.m. Favored by 36 and a half. Tough squad. Favored by 36 and a half points. Not bad. Dallas what was, Clark. What was Kentucky your favorite? Uh, 15 and a half? 13 and a half. Yeah, nowhere near this. This is a lock from what we've been told by everybody. Yep. Also, double-digit uh, favorites have been covering in the men's. I yeah. don't know about in the women's. Five and two in the men's. Five and two in the men's, double-digit cover. If they're supposed to hammer teams, people yeah. have been hammering teams. Yeah. Obviously, Let's it's not. Let's keep that going. One okay. loss. Well, you know this team better than I do. Much better than I do. No, it doesn't. You know what I Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Question in your Whoa. Heart. Please. Whoa. This guy, oh, doesn't, this guy doesn't think you're in Iowa. Is that the bloodline? Oh, Anyways, Dallas, Caitlin Clark has to shoot lights out for them to win the national championship because I feel like she gets like 10, 12 assists a game oh, yeah. as well. This whole team has the capability, and they obviously have to play their best ball. What is it about this Hawkeyes team to go win this attack? So, so the, games that, the games that have been awesome to watch is when Caitlin gets her team involved, which is every time, every game. Because here's the thing, every, you know, it's sad that this girl – who just strokes it every day and just makes threes all day, but also her assist is like a double double. But here's the thing Hannah Stokely is a bad mamma jamma. You need to watch her. She looks like a tight end run a seam route. Kaylin throws these like laser passes full stride down the court, catches them one, one step, layup. That's what. Like, sealed the, the championship game here uh, with the Big Ten, but she's got weapons around her. But here's the thing, it's the whole the whole thing works because everyone knows their role. It's kind of like when you're when we when you have something special, you gotta let them do their thing. Those girls aren't jealous. Those girls know their role. They when their time comes, they step up and make plays. And that's the great thing about this team. They're not one dimensional. If 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 Kaylin isn't feeling it, her teammates step up and have made plays. And they, they struggled with that, you know, every now and then again. It's like, man, we, we really – but this is a complete team, Pat. And that's the great thing about – that's why this team has a chance and is going to go a long way. It's because they're not one-dimensional. They can all do their part and do it very well. They're, they're on a – You were hesitant to say win a natty. Yeah, well, that was weird. here's the thing. I, I, I'm, I'm not a big – I'm, I'm a one guy, one, one game. At a time guy. One guy. Yeah. Like, like, come yeah. on now. Like, I understand. Let's, I understand. Let's, let's focus on the Holy Cross. Like, yes, let's, we're let's, sports media, so we have to do You that. have to. Like, you guys can say all the bull crap, but I, I'm – Whoa, 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 crap. We don't say bull crap. Son of a bitch. Time to put on the detail. No, you don't get to put no, glasses no, on. No, take those off. You don't get to take put glasses off. on. Oh, That's who's right. saying bull crap now? Bull crap. I said bull crap. It's a bunch of hawk crap, you ask me. <laughs> um, Amen. So I, I thought you said something pretty important in there about the team hasn't gotten jealous because, you know, whenever a video game generation potentially, whenever you're playing like Madden or 2K or any of these things, you see these numbers next to players, okay? This person's a 95%. That doesn't mean they're going to be a 95 every day. Yeah. That doesn't mean that they're not going to have feelings, emotions, pride, egos, you know, ups, downs, and every day they might not wake up on the right side of the bed. What I have seen out of this year for this phenom, Caitlin Clark, has been a team that has celebrated her and also her not be scared, you know, to take in. Yes. So, like whenever they had the celebration and they had that video up on the Jumbotron. Yeah. Like that could make some people who are like Caitlin Clark uncomfortable. Okay, like this is uncomfortable because she's such a team player because of everything like that. But it's like her teammates have almost allowed her to be like, hey, you're allowed to enjoy this. Like, Absolutely. We are here for you. Let's go ahead and do this. Holding up the newspapers yep. in front of her face, right. celebrating her. Right. Like it does feel like it's the perfect team to come together around a superstar that we've never seen before, Ty. Yeah, and I think it makes it a little bit easier because you're not just talking about someone who's like a superstar. Like she is the most prolific scorer in the history of college basketball, men's or women's. So I feel like in terms of like the jealousy, like it's not just like, oh, she's gonna be a first round pick in the WNBA draft. It's like, no, she's she's the one. You know what I whoa, mean? Whoa, so whoa, whoa, like, you're acknowledging. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, so, so I feel like it's a little bit easier, but like Dallas mentioned too, and there was an article on ESPN, like she's had those times where she's kind of gone through like uh, periods where it's tough to trust her teammates because she knows like at the end of the day, like I do still have to put on, like if, I, if I'm not scoring in bunches, like we're not the same team. But you know, I Dallas. Mean, but here, but Dallas, here. is it fair? Is it fair? What? Not us. This needs to be prefaced with not us. 
not say. No. We have never said this. No, no never will. These are things that have been said, though. You live in Iowa. Yeah. I would like your take on yeah. this. The narrative that if she doesn't win national championship should not be like how do you feel about that like has to win an addy she has all the records of everything seemingly Here, here's the thing she wins an addy then she has to do something else like there, you, there's uh, always going to be the mob like got there's it. always going to be the haters hey 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 there's always going to be those so here's the thing she's going to do her thing and it's going to be amazing and and if hopefully it ends with cutting down the nets but she doesn't need to do any of that because she's already, I mean, it's done. Like her, her, her legacy is cemented. This would just kind of like, ah, it's, you know, putting a, putting a rug, you know, it's kind of like Big Lebot, you know, it, it'll bring the room together. Oh, gotcha. It'll, it'll bring the room yeah, together. It'll tie, it'll tie, cherry. It'll tie the room together. A national yeah. championship title yeah. would bring the room together. A, another trophy. I mean, her here's trophy. me, Pistol Pete Maravich's record right yeah. here. Here's Kelsey Plum's record right here. Yeah. Here's back to back to back Big Ten championship records dude, right here. Dude. And then boom, here's the A national Smith, championship right here in the I middle. Mean, I mean, her, her, I mean, this is about the size of the room that her trophy case looks like. I mean, it's just. And wait till she gets in a fever. She's well, going to win. Exactly. Let's I mean, go. that's the, that's the real thing is that sure. National championship would be nice, but her college is already cemented. She needs eight WNBA cups. And then we're talking about greatest basketball player. Ever. Is that what they're called? WNBA cups? I, I uh, you know, I checked. It, it might be no. the Shel Cheryl Swoops award um, as the finals MVP. I, I'm not exactly sure what the Larry O'Brien. Boy, called. did you walk yourself right yeah. into something uh, here? I figured no. WNBA cup would play. Uh, but once again, I'm not sure the exact name. Are, of the do you think you're the only person that's on a daytime sports show that is seen by more people than a should be mm -hmm. that has WNBA season tickets. Uh, I'd be stunned. I, I think so. I'd be stunned if there were others, and if they are, where are they? I, I'd like for them to come forward because I mean, I'm I live and die with the Indiana yeah. Fever. I mean, they're one of my top five teams. The Caitlin Clark effect. Six hundred and fifty-nine dollars, I think, is the yeah. average ticket price Same. for the sessions here in Iowa City, and obviously West Virginia's here, which is a big yeah. ticket. Team. Hey. The Mountaineers are going to come out and do their thing. But this is the Caitlin Clark effect. Hey. The highest ticket price in women's college basketball happened earlier in the year. Now this has to be the highest sessions average ticket That's price in the history God. of the tournament. The, the, what a what a business. What a what a what a monster, monster. Caitlin Clark really is. Monster. This morning at breakfast, a gal came in. She bought a single ticket for 500 bucks. She's going by herself. She's going to the game. She because she she's like, we got two got two more chances to see Caitlin in Iowa City. Like that's 500 bucks. One game. Yeah, the it's, next it's, one. It's, it's amazing. Hold it's on awesome. Though. You got two more chances here in Iowa City, and we heard you chant one more year. Yeah. Okay, we heard yeah. that chant. We heard it. We want to let you know. You're all welcome in Indianapolis. Let's go. Anytime Let's you would go. like. That's right. Let's go. You can stay at Connor's house. Yeah. Exactly. I got a couple of Got hey. an extra bedroom. Hey, can we use Connor's season tickets? No. No, no, no you no. cannot. No, Those you will be cannot. used. Those will be used. Uh